Hey guys, we're here in Gdańsk at the top of Gadova Hill for the best views of the town. Literally feels like we're on top of the whole city. We can see everything. bit of a push at first at first he was like talking to me in Polish and I had no idea I'm like ah, don't speak you know and then all he wanted was a push yeah. good morning afternoon and night ladies and gentlemen we have arrived <laughs> at Malberg Castle because it is cheaper at 5 15 p.m. to 6 15 p.m. yes we read that there's a discounted fare and of course we took that to save 10 slotties like three dollars we got off the wrong stop on the train. That was my bad. Her fault. But we get to enjoy these views and we're going to go in now. It's a really big castle. Biggest in Europe, I think. Used to be the biggest in Europe, I think. We don't know yet. We'll find out. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure last time we took the train, but this time I'm sure. The, when you flush the toilet, it goes straight out of the train. Look at this video. That is the everything just going out of the train. It is awesome. And I think it's cool. Poland's great. We actually got these these audio things. So what do you call it? audio audio tours? And it's a first time for everything because I've never done this. Really? But, but it's like a, it's a, works on like a proximity thing. So it like even tells you with a picture like where to go. It's kind of cool. We learned some stuff. We don't normally do the tour thing. So this is like. This is like a <laughs> this is different. An experience. <laughs> Look at her headphones. I got cool ones. She's got stupid ones. Shut up. I just heard the uh, audio guy say this was an indestructible fortress. And it is the largest brick built castle in the world. Still? Yeah, didn't you hear that? Okay, that's kind of cool. Look how many bricks there are. This, this, this reminds me of a lot of bricks. If our audio guy tells us to go in this door, we go in this door. Okay, so we're on the moat, but it's like super high. It's called a dry moat. So this is where I think, if I was king, I would have all my, you know, arrow men. So if people came in from the left, they came in from the right, we'd have them covered. I'd have all my guys lined up here, there. I'd have two in the tower, two up in the other tower, and then guys on the roof. But things are a little different now. We just sit on the computer all day, but it would be cool to fight to the death. Well, it would be okay, I guess. Not too good. Sometimes you buy tickets for these sort of things and then you find out that you're not allowed to bring your camera. So I love that we're able to film and show you guys around too. And we got McDonald's coupons. <laughs> they give away McDonald's coupons because there's literally a McDonald's a hundred meters away. So after this, we're going to get two Big Macs, two fries, two... Wes is more excited to get out, I think. No, no, this is actually really nice. I like this. It's 
like they're taking us through these doors. They tell you, to, it's like in this audio guide, they're like, okay, now go through this door and there'll be a latch waiting for you to open. It's gonna be a little bit tough though, so look for it on the left. It's like some weird British guy. Weird. It's so cool, cause this thing knows exactly where you are. So if you turn the wrong way, the voice is like, you must have made a mistake. Please turn right. I'll be waiting for you right there. That's cool. We made a mistake. I think we missed a whole chunk. Do you see? We only did like, I think we only did like half the tour because if we would have done the whole tour, it was 75 minutes, but we did the 45 minute tour of A and B. There's like different sections in this place. Yeah, we'll show you the map, but like we could have done this and then instead we did these two and it was still pretty cool. And let me tell you an interesting fact about bricks. You gotta do something about heating bricks when you make them. And so the bricks that are black on here are the ones that are closest to the fire. Now don't call me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Okay, Felicia, let's have one of those imagine if days. I've already said it this a couple times, but imagine if you were the queen of this whole castle. What kind of queen would you be? I don't think there was a queen here. Oh. The te 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 Teutonic Knights. The king's off on a battle in the north. He went to the north. And you're the queen running the show. What do you do? What kind of queen? Are you strict? Or are you, you know... No, I'm a nice queen. I help all my peoples. And I do, I do my, I make my own bed. I'm, <laughs> I'm that kind of queen, I think. What if you were the king? What kind of king would you be? You know, I would be strict, but I would be fair. And that's what a community needs, a strict and fair leader. I would be, um, there's a quote, uh, I would have a tough mind but a tender heart. That's what I would be as a queen. Aww. Felicia's the queen of toots at night. You should smell Wes's toots, like, so bad. If only we could capture smell over videos over YouTube like a scratch and sniff YouTube she's, video she's it's lying. so bad she's lying it's so bad you know what the problem is guys we're like five right now we're like four videos and tomorrow we're filming again so we'll be five videos behind on uploading so that means when we get to Ukraine in a couple days we're gonna power through them we have a lot to catch up on but um, if you want to watch us in real time like I snapchat like all day and uh, I guess, well, not all day, I do like 10 a day, okay? So if you want to find us on there, it's Feather and Wind. I couldn't put the the in there, so it's just Feather and Wind. And then you get to see where we are in real time, and like everyone that has us on today got, got to see that we were at the castle already. Yeah, anyways, um, I just want to say that. Adios, amigos, have a good day. I think, I think. <laughs>